I'm Kira Benson. I am a junior at Felician University. I major in communications and minor in graphic design. Being a college student can be really difficult yet an amazing experience at the same time. So my goal here is to show you that magic. My regular week is really, really busy. I have a set schedule that I planned out at the beginning of the semester. I work two jobs, seven days a week. Between the two jobs, I work 55 hours a week, so spacing out when I go to class, do homework, or have some time for me can be very difficult. I'm a student worker at Felician for Student Affairs. I mainly help out with student development and engagement. I help them host events. I also manage the social media pages. I help create and film the Frankie the Falcon content, which is our school's mascot. I also work at Bungie Zone in Woodbridge Mall. This job is a lot of fun. I love working with all the different kids and seeing their expressions when they get to jump. During my free time, which there barely is any, I like to work on my YouTube channel. I create a lot of short films, music videos, and pretty much any kind of video that is considered entertaining or inspiring in some manner. I also love to sing. Singing has become a big part of my life and it's just a way for me to relax and unwind during stressful times. My dream is to be on Broadway. I absolutely love Broadway. My dorm room is legit Broadway theme. <laughs> really, if it weren't for Broadway, I wouldn't have been inspired to even follow my dreams in the first place of being in the creative industry of film and art. I remember going to see Mean Girls on Broadway with Felician, and at the time I was actually an education major, believe it or not. And I remember the show teaching this beautiful lesson about being yourself and not being afraid to conquer your fears in life. And that day I knew exactly what I needed to do, and that's when I changed my major. So week one of the semester is over, and it went well. Um, on my first day, I had three homework assignments, even though I only had two classes. <laughs> but you know what? It's done already, and it's only Thursday, so I consider that a win in my book. Um, and you know, I actually didn't realize that I have no classes Thursday and Friday, so I only have classes Monday to Wednesday, which is actually like really great. I don't know how I didn't realize that I made my schedule that way, but it just, I guess it worked itself out on its own. Let me tell you, it has been quite the week and it's only week two and we're still virtual. I've had like over 10 assignments assigned that are all due next week and you would think by now I would be used to the workload of so many assignments at once, but for whatever reason I just get really <laughs> worked up about it, probably because I have anxiety. Um, but besides that, my dorm room also got flooded. so I am now at the end of week three of this semester and it's been pretty overwhelming this week once again like last week but not in the sense of classes and classwork this time it's in the sense of clubs and activities um, because now we are in person this week finally at last which has felt great to go back to in-person classes. The only bad part is just wearing the masks because it's hard to breathe, you know, when you're in class for, especially for my classes, because all my classes are like the two and a half hour classes. And it's just like, sometimes I feel like, oh my God, like I can't breathe through this mask. Um, but like I was saying, it's just been, little stressful with the clubs and stuff because I'm trying to get all of the clubs that I run up and running because you know we already lost two weeks of time so I'm trying to like regain back that time but so far things are just not working with meeting with people and stuff but I have meetings scheduled for next week so hopefully things will be up and running and um, I will be able to get some club stuff ready to go. Not gonna lie it was a pretty rough week um monday morning um which was valentine's day um i just i don't know i just couldn't do it i felt really overwhelmed um luckily my professor though i kind of called her crying and you know told her i just feel a mess um, and she actually told me to not come into class and that it was gonna be okay and we would meet during her office hours, which I am beyond grateful for. Um, but you know, I, I've made it through the week. Um, I'm hoping that next week will be better.
actually had done quite the week, but actually this week I made a really big decision and that decision was actually to start a new club on campus and um, I'm going to be making a club called Active Minds. It's going to be a club all about mental health awareness and stuff like that. I don't really know all the details yet, um, but I do know that I'm going to be working with the Counseling Center to make this happen and I am really hoping that this club will do well and that it will also help other students. You know, I've just been uh, really struggling with my own mental health lately and I feel like if I can help other people then that's helping me in a way as well. Midterms are coming soon, like really soon, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> um, and this week was a pretty big week, actually. I had to perform for my art class, and we had to perform some sort of um, conceptual art, which basically means it's about the um, idea of the art, not the actual um, art itself. Um, and uh, my friend, Allie and I, we decided to do a performance, um, Don't Lose Your Head from Six on Broadway, um, and we performed it in the little theater for the whole class, and it actually went really well, and I was impressed with, like, myself, because I was so nervous to perform, um, and, like, I did it and now it's done and it's over with and you know you would think I'm not like the type to be nervous to perform in front of people but believe it or not I, I actually really am I'm very nervous to perform in front of people so it's now midterm week aka week seven um and I'm now realizing I don't really have any midterms I was worried for nothing <laughs> I have like you know a couple projects due and like a, a video and um, an essay also um, but yeah it's wasn't as bad as I thought but this week was rough on a personal level um, you know I kind of had to make some decisions um, that were really difficult but in the end I made decisions that were best for me and my mental health and I, I really think that at the end of the day that that's all that matters, you know, I, I gotta put myself first, so. Alright, so this week was spring break, although it wasn't really break. <laughs> I was working the whole week, but I did take off one day, and I actually had the chance to swim with stingrays at Woodbridge Mall. Let me tell you what an amazing experience it was. Here's my stingray, Squishmallow. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? um from the experience um it was just so amazing it was my first time filming underwater too um and it was just such a great filming experience and just an experience as a person too not to mention um and i also had the opportunity to go see aladdin on broadway and wow it was great i got to go with felicia and, um and we were in the balcony seating and i had a really great time So this was week nine of the semester and honestly this week really I was just doing a lot of filming <laughs> um, and a lot of working nothing crazy going on this week I have been working a lot on stuff for acting club for um, music night which is coming up um, and um, it's kind of crazy, it's like about a month away. Yeah, that, that's insane, I don't know. But the highlight of my week um, was Sequest, the corporate company, recognized my video. The Swimming with the Stingrays one that I did, they recognized it and they posted it on their website and on their Facebook. It was a really rough week. Um, I got sick, you can kind of still hear it in my voice. Um, it started with um, a sinus infection and then it turned into laryngitis. I couldn't speak for 48 hours. That was the toughest thing I think I've ever done in my entire life, like literally kid you not. And it stinked because I, I had all these plans for videos I wanted to do for my channel that obviously couldn't be done because I couldn't speak. So 
but I did successfully finish my COVID documentary, which was a plus. It got uploaded to YouTube, and there's over 3,000 views on it already. So I would say that is a win for this week. Let me tell you what a week it has been. Let me tell you. It started with my dorm room getting flooded. Mm-hmm. Dorm room flooded this week. Monday, it happened, okay? And absolute mess. I had to move out of my room. Um, literally just got back in here yesterday, finally. Thank God. Um, I was in a whole nother empty dorm for like three and a half days. On the fourth floor. Like, why? How to walk up all those stairs, okay? All jokes aside though, besides walking up the stairs, it's like, you know, like when you get used to space, like it's your space, you know what I mean? And then to have other people walking around in your space, like, and you're not even there and you gotta drag your stuff into another space and temporarily live there, like, nah. Especially with everything going on this week with the clubs and acting club coming up and everything, like it was just not good timing for this to happen. Like, they literally did a call out an outside company because they couldn't even fix it. Like, it was hideous. You don't even want to see the pictures. Like, I will not put you through that pain because me seeing in my own eyes, I want to put bleach in my eyeballs now. Like, no. Absolutely not. But meanwhile, Acting Club had dress rehearsal this week, okay? And, huh. uh, let's just say it didn't go, like, according to plan. Easter break is this week, so this week is kind of short. But on a good note, we have officially sold 50 tickets for Acting Club, which I am so happy about. And you know, I'm just really excited for this because this is like my first time actually like performing Broadway songs and like stuff that I'm really passionate about to a paid audience. Like people are paying to see this performance. And you know, I've been working super hard on this event and so has everyone else who was in the show. Um, so I I just can't wait to see how this turns out and how many people actually buy tickets. I mean, we're already at 50. So I imagine we're gonna sell so many more within the next couple weeks before the show. This week has been super stressful. I've been trying to get stuff together for all the clubs and everything. And it's just like, I don't know, everything's all over the place, literally, and I'm just glad the week is finally over so I can, like, regroup before next week because next week it's just gonna get even worse. What a week it has been. Um, Acting Club's Music Night show was a success, so I am very happy about that. We did absolutely amazing. I am beyond proud of everybody who was in the show. They all did fabulous. Um, as for Active Minds Club, our, for our Speed Friends event, um, that didn't go so well. Nobody showed up. Um, people kind of passed through for candy, but that was about it. But the good part is now we know how to run this event for September for when the new freshmen come in and hopefully we'll have a bigger crowd then. I wanted to ask some of my friends and coworkers on campus about if they could describe me in one word, what would they say? So here is what they said. I would say amazing. The best! Enthusiastic. If I have to describe Kiera, I would say she is extraordinary. I would have to say spontaneous. Um, you have always come up with amazing ideas to engage students and come up like randomly with spontaneous ideas and always willing to do what, it need, what you need to do to get things done. Kind heart. After hearing all the amazing things my friends and coworkers had to say, it made me realize that no matter what my grades turn out to be, I'm proud I was able to make it through the semester. This semester had a lot of ups and downs, but at the end of the day, I made it through. As they would say in Mean Girls on Broadway, I was totally fearless.